Well, hello and welcome once again to the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society. And um, sit back, enjoy, you're going to see some wonderful animals, all of whom need your help. So, please, this is just not a program just to say what wonderful animals we have here. It's a program to try and persuade every one of you who's watching to give a home to one of these homeless creatures. And today, I have to say, uh, it is, it's, uh, in, we're in November, and November is Black Cat Month. And here we have Irina. And, Irina, may I tell you a story? Yes, all right. So, Irina was found hanging around the Lebanon car wash, and um, obviously had no home. So, some kind person um, managed to catch her and bring her down here. And here she is. Um, and she said, I'm, so I am, this is just the month when I should be adopted because I'm a black cat. And um, it's funny, when I came to the States, I learned that black cats were sometimes considered unlucky. Well, in England, if a black cat runs across your path, it's very good luck. So I prefer to think that way. And anyway, it, it's silly. How can animals bring you bad luck? My animals I've had over the years have never brought me anything but love and joy and wonderful, wonderful companionship. So here is Irina, just ready to go. She said, I'm very beautiful and um, I'm pretty independent too. I managed to survive on my own for a little while until some kind person found me. And um, then I'm really, really, and I've got a tiny bit of white on me. Um, but I'm, and I've got a slightly funny tail. I don't know whether Paula can see it from there, but it's sort of got a very stubby end. I don't know whether something happened to the tail. Um, oh, anyway, and I forgot to say, excuse me, Paula, but we have Paula behind the camera doing wonderful things there. So this is Irina. So you can always go to our website and look her up too. But please, please, oh, come and see her. That's the best. Because I say, I don't know how many times, that um, if you see an animal, you'll fall in love with it. I think Irina's very lovable, aren't you, darling? Yeah. Pretty, clear, pretty bright too, if you ask me. All right. Are we? All right. So here we started on dogs now. And so here we have Cadence. Um, uh, this is Amy, of course. Let's get this right. Uh, this is, and Cadence is two years old. She's a mixed breed. Um, uh, Paula thought she might have Vizsla in her. Um, <laughs> oof, oof. She said, I'm not sure about that eye looking at me there. That cam <laughs> It's called a camera. I'm not sure about that. Uh, and she's spayed female. Uh, now, am I right to say that all animals adopted out of here are spayed or neutered? Oh, yes. Yes. So you've had that done for you. Um, and uh, so what do we know about, she was a surrender? She was because they couldn't have her where they lived. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, but she's, you know, she's a very smart, intelligent dog. Oh, you can tell that. Do the best with um, small dogs, especially in cats. Oh, she, li she likes small dogs. No, she, well, she does doesn't. Not. No, yeah. she doesn't want small dogs, but she would probably love to have a bigger dog as a company and huh. as a night, perhaps, yeah, but also a, a yard that she can run in and she needs a lot of exercise, I would say. And I would imagine, woo, woo that she would, I see she's saying hello to you, that she would absolutely adore to do training classes and, um, uh, the other ones that I always forget the name agility, of. Agility. Agility yeah. classes, and yeah. she'd be very good at agility. And it would be hu wonderful for her. It, I mean, it gives dogs such a lot of confidence, self-confidence to do that, and they love it. And um, so she'd probably do training first, and that might get her used to, more used to other dogs. Okay. Um, but I just, I, I like this dog, and she's got wonderful markings. Look at all the paws. Mm -hmm. Just a little white along the edge there. Um, Beautiful, beautiful pale brown eyes, which just match the color of her coat. So, um, and she's only two. You've got her for many, many years to come. Isn't that right, my sweetheart? Yes, very nice, very sweet. Yes, good girl, good girl, yes, good girl. Oh, she says, I love you, Ross, I love you. Yes, I love you. <laughs> so please come and see. Okay, so this is Splinter. And um, Splinter came in fairly recently. She, we think that she's nine to ten years old. We're not absolutely certain. Um, she is quite shy, uh, very pretty. It's a shame we couldn't persuade her out, but we couldn't. 
um, you know, like most cats, she knows her own mind. Um, but um, I'm sure that she would, you know, like most animals and people, if you're kind to them and you give them time, uh, um, they react to that and um, are very happy to be with you. And <coughs> I sort of feel sorry for Splinter because I get the feeling that life has not been that easy for her. And I would really like her to go to a really good home with one of you wonderful people who are watching us. Um, and Splinter also asked me to say a little something on the program uh, for since she's nine or ten. Um, and do remember, as, a, as an aside, please remember that cats can live to a very old age. My sister had a cat who lived to be 23. Uh, anyway, Splinter said, please remember older animals. It's very much, it's a lot of fun getting a kitten or even a young cat, but she said, us older ones, we're just as, as good a, a, um, a companion and we know a lot more and we're probably a little politer and less trouble. I don't know about that, Splinter, because I, <laughs> I don't think you're trouble, but I think you know your own mind. Um, so, but she, it, we do have a lot of older cats here and people don't always look at those first. But um, it's very hard when you're older and you don't have a home. I know it's hard when you're young and you don't have a home too, but you've got more resilience. So Splinter is waiting there for you. And um, then we have um, Rachel, who is very shy. Don't know whether we can... No, Rachel, you can't see at all. She's in this funny little igloo there. And then up top we have um, a kitten. No, the kitten's down below, is it, perhaps? And then we have um, Chex, uh, who is a kitten. I don't know whether... Can you see her Chex at all up there? No, she's tucked away, too. So we do have a kitten here. I don't think... She's not a very, very young kitten, but she is a kitten. So we have all ages here, really. Um, it spans. And so if you want somebody a little oh, more mature, uh, there is a splinter for you, and then if you want a kitten, you have Chex, who's very pretty, but hidden too, and then completely hidden is Rachel, and so if you wanted a little bit of a challenge, and you wanted to make, you know, really make an effort, and I hope somebody does, to make Rachel feel at home, she is also nine years old, and so one really sort of shudders to think what's happened to her in those nine years if she's still so shy. So she just wants somebody who has a very, very, very kind heart and a lot of patience. And you will see a huge difference in Rachel. She will come running to greet you when you come home. Just give her a bit of time and a, bit of, a lot of love. That's all we all need, isn't it? So now we have the most attractive, most attractive um, American Bull Terrier to show you. Her name is Jada. I just love her markings because they're almost, you know, they're almost symmetrical like that. And, uh, oh yes, did you want another one? I know, I know, I know you wanted another one. So she's obviously going to need some training. And they do, do, they do the best they can here, but they have a lot of dogs, a lot of cats. And, and, um, and also it's a wonderful bonding experience. And obviously it's very important to bond with your dog. So, um, but I can see that she would be very... Um, very satisfied with doing training and probably agility too. Uh, lovely long walks, please. We have a lot of energy and um, we like to get that out. And uh, also, if you have a truck, then we are one of those dogs that really likes to sit in the front seat of a truck and look, out, look down on people as you drive by. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jada? I love the spot in the middle of her forehead. <laughs> I don't know whether Paula can get that. She probably can. But I just like this dog. There's something about her. I feel she's very open um, and very, um, yeah, very, a very true dog. She said, I'm a dog and I really like life and I really would like to have a very happy life with you. So please come and choose me especially because I'm just here with all the other kennels. But I'm really a very special dog, and that's what you're going to find out. And I, I yeah, and, and look how sleek she is. Beautiful, with that beautiful black coat. And she's got the four white paws as well. And I think she really likes to please people. So I'm very bright. Isn't that right, Amy? She'd be a good family dog. Great family dog, yes. 
So, uh, and I think she'd especially like to play soccer. Uh, <laughs> or football, but soccer particularly because uh, it's a great ball to chase, yeah. which of course <laughs> drives everybody nutty, but you could just have special soccer games sometimes for Jada. So please come and see her because like so many of these uh, wonderful animals here, you know, is just to see her is to fall in love with her, which we all have, haven't we darling? Yes, 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 you yeah. have. Yep, but you know, she'll need some training to make her so she doesn't jump up. But she'll do that very willingly for you. In fact, this dog will do anything for you. So, believe me, I know. <laughs> and a waggly tail. What could be better to make you happy? So, this is Millie. Uh, Millie is very independent. She's going to come and go, I'm afraid, Millie. She's, um, she seems to <laughs> really like Paula, which puts her behind the camera. Um, but she's very beautiful. She is uh, eight years old. She was adopted, and then uh, the person who had her uh, just couldn't look after her anymore. I don't know whether it was age or whatever, but anyway, so Millie has come back to us. She's very independent. She would not... Um, not uh, probably be very good with children in the household and she's not very keen on being um, touched but she's uh, quite vocal she likes a good conversation and um, hello sweetheart um, and oops um, and she's quite bright she would like her own way uh, in your house she would soon tell you what she needed what she didn't need um, what she does need is a bit of a diet <clears throat> we are, yes, come on, Millie. Millie. Um, well, it doesn't seem that we're going to see much of Millie. But anyway, Millie, would you mind getting on the camera, please? We're trying to find you a home. Thank you very much. There we are. She's very pretty. And, um, yes, and she's, as I say, she's quite social. She, she, um would definitely, I would think she would be best with somebody, either a couple uh, or a single person, um, who just likes coming home to a good greeting, and um, how are you, and what was your day like, only you would have to immediately respond with how are you, what was your day like, what can I get you to eat, to, to drink, to um, you know, just uh, make me happy. Um, <laughs> so things would be a little bit one, one way, wouldn't they, sweetheart? But never mind, a lot of people are like that too. So isn't that, oh, and a lovely purr, a lovely purr. And she said, I think I'm just getting rid of this very comfortable little cushion to sit on here and I'm just getting ready to sort of um, nestle down on it and nestle down to Roz, which would be very nice. That's very sweet, very sweet, darling. So please come and see her. Um, she does have, you know, a few um, things that she like does like and a few things that she doesn't like in other words she's a cat that walks by herself and a cat that knows her own mind and she's you know it's been a hard life because she got adopted and was very happy and then she came here I mean I'm sure she's very happy here she's got a lovely cage to be in and a beautiful cushion to lie on and people who are watching her all the time but um, it's not the same as having your own home and we all know that. Here we have some more black cats. And as I said, you know, mo um, November is uh, Black Cat Month and adoption fees are waived here if you wish to adopt one. Of course, we love if we would give a donation instead of the adoption fee. But anyway, we have one, two, and there's a third black cat up there you can't see. You can see the both ends of one. You can see an ear in the post box and then the other end and then there's the other one that's looking down on us with some disdain. Um, but, you know, a lot of cats are like that. They think a lot of themselves. And then there's another one tucked away behind. So we have a lot of black cats. And you could really live up to the, um, the idea that this is the best month uh, of the year to adopt a black cat. So please come and see them all. Maybe you could take more home. That would be lovely. But um, they're all very nice and quiet today. They said it's raining outside, we're glad we're in here, and we're nice and cosy. And we're just waiting for someone to walk through that door and say, I want you in my life forever. Go then. So this is Suki, 
And um, when I was walking along a row of cages, Suki just looked at me and said, you've just got to show me because I really need a home so much. And um, so she, uh, she does have a bit of arthritis. She's, what, eight years old, we say? Yeah, yeah about yeah. that. Eight years young. Heavens, I've adopted a dog of 14, and he lived to be 16, and he was one of the best dogs I ever had in my life. Yeah. He was a shepherd mix, wonderful. So what is age? It's how you take it, and Suki is taking her age very well. Um, she would be, like to be with older, be happy to be with older children. Um, again, she, was she beagle mix? No, no. Sort of medium lovely mix. coloring, lovely coloring, sort of dark chestnut, beautiful. Maybe some lab. Yeah, maybe. Um, we'll never know. And what does it matter? Mm -hmm. We're all mixes anyway. Um, but she's very sweet. And um, so she does have a little bit of arthritis. Uh, it happens to a lot of us as we get older. That's all right. I'm sure that that can be managed. Um, she, does she sit? Do you sit, Suki? She sure does. Yeah, right. let me bring something. Can you sit, Suki? Sit. Good girl, there you are. Well, she said, anything else you want to ask me? I just think you're lovely. And quite right, there was such a message coming out of this dog about you. Really, I really want to be shown on camera. Um, she loves walkies and she needs walkies. We are a little bit um, overweight. <coughs> Excuse me she's for saying that. Pounds, but yeah. she's lost, oh, you really? <laughs> 10 pounds since she's been in here. Yeah, at least, yeah. Wow. She was pretty, she was unhealthy, um, yeah. she had an unhealthy weight. Yes, yes, wow. That's pretty good, isn't it? So if you want to lose weight, come to the <laughs> Lucy <laughs> McKenzie <laughs> Humane Society. And they'll put you in a cage and there you are. <laughs> oh, I just think you're a sweet dog. And she would love to do agility classes. And you know, if you can't manage, if you've got one near you or so anything like that, you can make your own for her too. She wouldn't be able. Because oh, that's hips. right. Yeah. How silly of me to say that because she's got bad training, hips. She could definitely but do she it. would love to do training and walkies, yeah. probably not too far. She didn't want to climb mountains quite. Um, but a very cuddly, would love to be cuddly and um, just would love to sleep with you at night, I'm sure. I actually just had to uh, get myself a new bed because I have a, adopted a, a part time dog <laughs> I share with a friend. And uh, there wasn't, I had a single bed, and <clears throat> I just found myself with one leg on the floor by the end of every night. <laughs> so now I've got a bigger bed, and Tashi and I are both very comfortable. So um, Suki says, yes, well, I, I, I'd be like that, yes. And I sleep very well. Um, I occasionally snore a tiny bit, but not much. <laughs> anyway, I think she's a very sweet dog. Please come and see her, because <sighs> I say it every time, but if you see her... You will love her, yes. And she's got the most wonderful eyes. Oh, isn't that right, sweetheart? Good dog. Good girl. Oh, good girl. oh yes, she said, scratch my belly. Whoops. <laughs> so this is Jerry. And um, that looks a bit like Suki, don't you think? Anyway, uh, again, <coughs> a bit of a weight problem. <coughs> but I'm sure that they're managing it very well here. Come on, come on back here. Good. Yeah. Yes. Okay, sit, sit. Oh, very nice, very nice. And a nice purple tag. And, and he says, I, I'm a, a neutered male. Uh, I'm ready to go. And uh, he was a surrender. Yeah, um, they were having some uh, behavior issues with him in the home. I think it's because of the lack of attention he was getting. Ah. Um, Who doesn't misbehave yeah. if they don't get any attention? Otherwise. Children certainly do. Why shouldn't dogs? Yes. Uh, does he get on with other dogs? Um, pending introductions. Yeah. 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 So that would be lovely. I, cats, I, too. cats. Well, cats maybe, yes. But I would say that if he had a companion that he liked and you had a nice big fenced in yard, he would be in bliss and they would play all day. And then he would come in and be your very, very loving, uh, loving little dog. Well, he's not, I don't know whether you call him a, a little dog. I mean, he's short in stature, but sort of little wider but very very I love him and I love the face and he's how old Amy he's about two, two about three. two yes yes so um, and okay with children yes yeah but he can be a little rough and jumpy as you yeah. can see but so older children he just has to yeah. learn not yeah. to do that and we're working on yes, it yes yeah. yes yes teenagers probably would be great and again probably 
Oh, oh, very nice. Can you sing? Can you sing? Vocal. Oh, can you sing? Yes, lovely. Yes, and you like to dance too? Yes, I like to dance. Oh, a great swinger. Yes, yes, oh yes, I really like you, sweetheart. Yes, I do. Very vibrant. And yes, oh, such, what an addition to your family. I can't imagine anything nice than this lovely, warm, cuddly, a lovable dog. He's got a lot of love in his heart, don't you, sweetheart? Yes, and he said, I'm only two. You know, that's very young. And I'm young at heart, and, and I have a big heart. So, please come and see him. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Oh, and what a, what a comb. Is that what you think, dear? That's what he Well, I know, I know, I know. This world, this world. Huh? Yeah, it's a difficult place, this world, isn't it? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So get back a bit. Here. No, come, here. come on, come sweetheart. Here. Yes. Well, how nice to have a good person who likes to make conversation and talk about things he said, yes. I'll give my opinion on anything, you know, politics, love, um, food, particularly food, yes. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye, darling. I hope I won't see you next week, next month, because somebody, so, oh, lovely, oh, oh God. Mm. Somebody will come and give him a home. Go, please come and give him all homes. And the cats too. But you don't need a home, Amy. No, you're all right. No, Amy doesn't need a home. I don't need a home. Paula doesn't need a home. But anyway, we're saying goodbye now uh, from the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society. Thank you for all your support. We always need all sorts of different things. And um, we need money always and help. Um, and we appreciate what you do for us. So, all right, so say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye-bye from the Lucy McKenzie.